Hi guys, Young Master Charles here for another Pokemon unboxing. Now, what I've got for us today is we're going, we're going along our little, little promo journey. There's little journeys that left, right, and center. I might have to actually gap them out on the on the library so we can actually keep track of the journeys we're on. But I've got these. Now this is the Zacian and Zamazenta V Sword and Shield promo tins. Now these have, they don't have a story, but I remember. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna crack into these. Now we've got. Five booster boxes, I think we get with it. We'll double check. We'll actually double check. We get five booster boxes, we get the foil, so we know we get, I think you get one of each. So we've got the Zam Zacian, we've got the Zamazenta. We'll put those into our folios. But these, I was at, I was walking past, Ga I think it was Games World, and I looked down in the in the glass cabin. I hadn't seen I hadn't seen these before, and I thought, did I miss these? What's going on? And then I think these might have been a bit of a, we sometimes get a little bit of a delayed release sometimes in Australia with some products. The Zacian tin. Now, what I'm going to do, I'll look at the first tin and then we'll just crack open the second tin and get to business. Now, guys, the people that want the cookout, message me on Instagram. Now, look at that. With the Zacian V promo card. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to chuck this in the sleeve. We're going to get the rest of the packs and then we're going to have a look at it. Right, so we've got the Zacian V and we've got the Zamazenta. The promo cards, we've got our doggos once again, started off the whole Sword and Shield era. Now, one thing I noticed when I was looking at this card, you might not be able to see it as much, but it's, it's literally a little bit diagonal. It's a bit thicker up this way, it gets thinner, and it's thick down there, it gets thinner down there. It's a bit of a interesting cut card, but I like these. The fact that they're not smashed to the edges like we know they can be with a lot of other promo products, these these are nice. I'm going to have to chuck these in the, in the folio, but what we've got... I think it's the same for both. We've got the Zacian pack. We've got the Re we've got two Rebels Clash. We've got one. It's like they in these times they just want you to go Zard hunting. We've got a Evolutions and a Burning Shadows. Yes. Now in the other pack, I believe it's going to be the same. We did find out in those True Steel box though that they gave us a team up. So maybe it's not always the same now as I realised. But for today, maybe it's a sign. We're going Zard hunting. But what we're going to do? We're going to do this in date order. So we're going to go Evolutions first. I'm, I'm, always people are saying they don't like seeing Rebels Clash as much. A little fun fact. Oh, little funny fact is, I opened probably twice as much Rebels Clash as I did Darkness Ablaze, and I am one card off the Darkness Ablaze set. And I think I'm missing about six reverses. I'm a good, I think, twelve cards off Rebel Clash. Re Rebel Clash was a nightmare set for me. I don't know about you guys, but I'm just going to let the nostalgia of Evolutions take me back. Ah, oh, there we go. Growlithe, Nidoran, ah, oh, Reverse Fire Energy, and the red. Oh, we got Gold first pack! A Pidgeot EX. Look at that, that's a beautiful card. Loving the texture on that. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the Sleevio. Ooh. Now what I'm gonna do, I've got the Burning Shadow. Now, the one card I definitely have not packed, and I wish, I just feel it's a, I, we, people know I love to find a Zard. I like to find them, I like to collect them. They find a way, we pray to the gods. Sacrifice the Charmander and Charmeleon Knight, the gods look after you. But, Burning Shadows, the Charizard is an absolute nightmare. I cannot pick it to see it below. Riolu Reverse and the Rare, and the hunt continues. A rare as Moru. Now, I think we're smart. I think we've got the Sword and Shield. Now, so once again, I think. What am I missing from Sword and Shield? I don't know. I think there's only. Once again, I think there might be only three or four cards from. Oh, missing the Wabafet V Full Art. That's what I am missing. I'm trying to think what else. I think there might be only one more after that. Oh, I'm actually. Funnily enough, I'm missing the Tapu Coco V. A regular V. So out of the two, three cards I'm missing. One of them is actually just a regular V card, so if de facto, the Vitality Vitality Van and the Rare. He knocked out. Now knocked out is a Pokemon I don't really get mad at because I remember when I first delved into Pokemon Gold and Silver, Double Clash. And I think it was just the fact it was a new Pokemon and obviously like a Pidgey, like some people don't like Pidgey, I'm a big fan. It was a Pidgey, that's what Ash had. But it was the new bird time. So it just got me a little bit excited. Obviously who who something maybe not to run home to mum about, but 
Knockdown, I can get around. I thought Knockdown was a bit of a... Pro Obviously, maybe later on, not as strong as people would like it to be, but early days, it serves a purpose. You can give it fly. It's got some Dark-type moves. Love it. Lecter Buzz. Reverse Voltorb. And the rare. Ah, oh, Hollow Stern Journal. Now, I forget some of these artworks and Sword Shields. Sometimes it feels like a bit of a while since we only opened the odd pack. Oh, sorry, Rebel Clash, since we only opened the odd pack now and then. Now, the good thing about... Gold, I know they did it in a few other games, but the good thing about gold and silver, well, some some people think it was good, some people thought it was bad. I thought it was good. It was more realistic. But what you could do is you can only catch knockdown, or not knockdown, or knockdown, and hoot hoot mostly at night. And they the game was very time related or relative. So all of a sudden, if it was nighttime, you'd catch certain Pokemon at night. If it was daytime, you'd only catch certain Pokemon at daytime. So, ooh, reverse and the rare. Oh, I wish cash. That's the one tin down. We've got the Pidgeot EX. I'm going to have to put that to the side so we'll look that after. But now we've got the, I believe this was the Zamazenta tin. So we've got a little bit more of a chance to get a Zan. And then let's hopefully we can cross a few more things off on the list. But I found Golden Silver quite annoying as a kid because I would go to school, come home, do my homework, and then all of a sudden it's night time. So about every time I played the game, I'm catching night time Pokemon. It just didn't work. But, I had a good night time team, that's for sure. Uh, sometimes I actually forget Pokemon you caught during the day until I actually play it on the weekend. Ooh, look at that! Charmander! Nice! Rattata. Caterpie, the simple Pokemon. The simplicity. Oh, and a reverse Poliwag, and the rare. We don't like the Beedrills. We don't like, people like to, people say, why don't you do that with the Eradicates and the Dug Church? Because it's not a Beedrill. Even I have a tiny, tiny bit of respect for, for the, for the, for the Eradicates. I have respect for a rat. I don't have no respect for a silly wasp, even though I do. Not gonna lie. Beedrill in the game, I thought when it first came, he's weak. But when I first saw him, I thought he was a dope looking Pokemon. Say, so, Butterfree, Beedrill, love it, the bugs. A spell? Bugs. Reverse Caterpie and the rare. Oh, a, a cat, a cat, a Persian cat, a non-talking cat. Now we've got the last three packs, we've got the Sword and Shield, and we've got the Rebels Clash. Let's see what we can do, we're in the presence of the Gold Dogs. Maybe we can get a Gold Dog of some kind. I have to wait and see. Now I hope everyone is well where they are. I hope everything is going to plan. Everyone is having a good time at the moment. We've got some big things coming out in Pokemon. It's going to be a bit of a, ooh, reverse Muna, and the rare, Drapion. It's going to be a bit of a overwhelming time for the next few weeks, and then the month or two, with all these Japanese, and all these English sets coming out. It's going to be non-stop cardboard till Christmas. Get excited, guys. Now, second last pack. Ooh, got the bronze on. Always liked Milo. Thought my, and the name, if you're from Australia, I don't know if you, where else you get it in the world, but... Milo chocolate. Put a bit of milk with some Milo. Ooh, reverse Morpeko. And the rare? Valerian Darmanitan. Now, if you get some milk with Milo, some people like their Milo lumpy. Some people like their Milo smooth. Child YMC likes his Milo in between the two. That's how it goes. Now, not too smooth, not too lumpy. We wanted a perfect consistency. Just like we're gonna, you know what I didn't do? I didn't last pack magic this thing. What did I do? I didn't give it the little bit of a, bit of a love tap. The reverse Growlithe and the rare. Oh, look at that to finish. We gave it a little bit of a late delay and magical love. Malamar V Max. Now that's a sick card. Part of my brain says I didn't even have this card. I'm gonna have to look in the folder after I have a look at Pokelec. But look at that, guys. What I do? I get the sleeve. And then what we'll have to do? I have a bit of a quick tidy up with this, all these cards and packs, and we'll, ooh, down the back, and we'll have a look, but guys, not bad, now, let's get the things together, right guys, now, we're going to have a little, a little look at the hit state, what I'll do, I'll chuck that one at the back, but we've got, we've got our promo cards, now, as I said, usually the de signs are all banged up, these are, these are not bad, now, we've got the, the Zacian V Le Bromo, we've got the, Zamazenta V Pro. Now guys, tell me what you thought, what you think of the artworks of the promo cards. I think some part of me really hates them. There's a little part of the back of my head that goes, I kind of like these, but 
Maybe give me a doubt till I'll work this one out. Zamazenta, and then we had the last pack magic, the Val Malamar V Max, and we had the first pack magic. It was the start and the end of a journey today. Look at that. Now, guys, if you haven't already, leave a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you soon. Cheers.